Hello everyone, my name is Mandel Mann and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to talk about painter's tape versus contact paper. Um, you guys know I've used both of them in the past and I had a viewer just recently um, make a statement he says or ask a question he says is isn't painter's tape cheaper than contact paper and to answer his question yes but not by that much it's just small change it's cents it's you know it's pennies it's not enough to make me go back uh, you know to consider not using contact paper um, and the reason why is because I don't use contact paper for high production anyway I just use it for small little small projects and the same thing with painters tape little little small projects projects where you're trying to get most of your material the most out of your material like if you have a flaming birch or some crotch walnut or some some figure beautiful figure piece of wood you know even a veneer if you want to put a veneer on you know on some of this paper and lay it down it is perfectly acceptable um but yeah it's uh, I think the the you can the workability of it outweighs the small percentage or the small change that you pay extra. I mean, for instance, um, I worked on a project where I used the blue painter's tape. Uh, I made a butcher block just recently, my last video, and when I released that blue tape, tried to release it, it tore out. It it really gouged out some of uh, some of the wood and. And luckily it was on the back and so I didn't worry about it um, but contact paper what it does it does well it releases well it hold down well it give you great coverage it's less fussy and you don't get tear out and that's what make it so perfect for me all of those things matter and all those things are worth the extra pennies that I would pay and like I said if I was worried about if I was doing something in a production mode I would just use my uh, composite nailer or I would invest in a um, a vacuum pump but to be truthful if you really want to be frugal about it screws drywall screws are your best thing which most of us know and then too you can invest into your own system you you know you can make a friction system there are all kinds of systems that you can make and and uh, um, get by with but like I said he's very much right and there's nothing wrong with using blue tape I just have a problem with using blue tape because you have to layer it up at times and I have problems with glue getting between the overlaps and it could be user error you know and, and and that's quite fine but I try to cut down you know my error percentage and uh, but if you guys have any more questions I love questions if I can do a video on your questions I will too that's that's fine um, and I thank the the uh, the viewer for asking that question it was a very good question and uh, it gave me an opportunity to kind of show exactly what what the difference is and why I pay the extra cent for it. I would like to take the time to thank everyone for tuning in to my channel and uh, to let you know I appreciate you for, for tuning in. I appreciate all your comments, your likes, your dislikes, and uh, continue to do that. Um, don't forget to subscribe and also share my uh, content with other people. That's how we grow and that's how we're able to make more content. 